Uh, having congratulated you, I will say the rest of us were asking you, the LSK was very vibrant, asking you to join LSK as early as this afternoon. The LSK also, I could see, were quickly looking for votes. It's normal. From where I sit, and I was a politician before I came here, uh, when you want to, you know, you make sure that all the people who you want voted must say something small. And I'm happy that Lady Konuche here also told us that probably there could be a trip or two. I don't mind that myself. <laughs> after. But whoever will call me early this afternoon asking for my vote, I can guarantee you I will vote for that particular person because nobody else has, has approached me. So the LSK were clear. They were inviting you. I even see the DPP, my good classmate uh, in the university, uh, Victor Mule was also asking you that you would have about 400 vacancies to go for. I have some news myself. I do not come here to do that. In fact, I came here to discourage you from being part of our customer base at the Complaints Commission. For just one reason, we don't have sufficient budget at the moment <laughs> to deal with uh, all the matters that come to us. So I'm requesting you that please, uh, let's uh, keep us not very busy for now. We have requested Parliament to fund the Attorney General's office better this year. If we are lucky next year, we could consider taking a few matters here and there. Therefore, we'll know each other better then. Because for your information, Madam Chief Justice, in this financial year, and as at, this is as at 30th of April, 2023, the Commission had received a total of 1,074 new complaints. We had subjected 252 complaints to IHDR, you know, the dispute resolutions internally. We had instituted 114 cases of mis uh, professional misconduct at the disciplinary committee. And unfortunately, three advocates were struck off the role for gross professional misconduct, and five were suspended from the role for various varying periods. That's just to tell you the kind of work that we have. So that when I tell you, and the capacity that we have now as, as the commission is, is not too big. We have not even digitized. We have not done quite a number of things that we probably will be doing in future. We probably will be delinking ourselves from the Attorney General's office so that we can become an independent institution. Those, all those have not been done because of lack of funds. So I want to encourage you to be of good conduct. I was here myself 30, close to 30 years ago. And I'm happy, as I've said, I see my good friend, uh, Mr. Muller here, who we took oath together here in 19, probably 94, it was 95, and Honorable Ochilo Ayako there, who we also did the same, same year, in the university at the same time. And we were few. We were probably 60. I was asking Mule if he remembers. It's long. 30 years ago is long. So we were about 30, and I was really encouraged. In fact, I was wondering, uh, Madam Chief Justice, whether... Probably in future we would also be doing the old protocols observed for the swearing in of new advocates. Because you had to read 800, you know, plus names. And they had also to be given an opportunity to show that they are here. That is not easy. That is not easy. Back in the days we used to go to NYS, and we were about the same number as this. And they, when you stand for that long, a few of them would fall down because of waiting for too long. We were only 60. And we came here, and it was over in a short while. I wasn't carried because it's a good thing. It's positive that you have to admit all this. But I was wondering whether there is any other procedure that can shorten the calling of names, the, you know, the admission, and the chief justice doing all the names 
I was just wondering, and wondering whether it is possible it could be done in the future. I know you like it, because your name, and I could see, all of you are putting your phones, and when your name is called, it is actually on record now. So it is good, but, well, I hope it can be different in future. I hope. I will almost end there and say you are headed to a profession that is quite misunderstood. So you really need to behave much. Your behavior should be higher than the rest of the community and professions. By the way, back in our days, we were a bit careful of intermarriage within the profession. That's a lawyer marrying another lawyer. In my class, I can confess that only two ended up marrying each other. And we were told, you know, it's a bit difficult marrying a lawyer lady because one of them had gone to court and said, my husband does not respect me because he calls me some names that I don't like. You know, sweetheart, darling, she would have preferred to be my lady. <laughs> but then eventually we realized that it's the same all over the world. It's the same thing. Another one then married, decided that because it is that you shouldn't marry a lady lawyer, he decided to go and marry one from home. And one day, took her happily to court. Unfortunately, it was being presided by a lady judge. So when he kept saying, my lady, you know, the, the lady came back home saying, look, you call me all other funny names, but you don't call me my lady. So it's a profession that is generally misunderstood. I know sitting in the in the commission, that sometimes the complaints against advocates are not quite merited, some. But many of them, particularly those ones with, that deal with uh, withholding of funds, are things that we can actually guard against because it is common. In fact, the most common complaint against advocates is withholding clients' money. Quite a few not good representation, you know, in court, Maybe information, you don't give your clients information. Those are few. Let us deal more seriously with this one of withholding funds. Because the net effect is, if we keep having the communities mistrusting us, the members of public mistrusting us, I can assure you, you will start finding members of public representing themselves. That is to the detriment of the profession. We still want to call ourselves the learned profession. We want to also show it that we are actually the learned profession. So, as I wind, I want to give you what you are likely to meet out there. In brief, very brief, because I have to also touch a little of what I was asked to do. There is the issue of money laundering. Those are the difficulties that you'll face. You know, some clients will want you to use your advocate's shield for their money laundering activities. And I urge you to, and, and, urge you to hide behind doctrine of advocate confidentiality, advocate-client confidentiality. This obviously will be against the LSK Code of Professional Conduct, and you should aim to avoid such tendencies. Madam Konuche spoke about mental stress. Stress. You'll get into a world that is stressful. You know, I can imagine those mem uh, uh, advocates who are practicing during the COVID pandemic. It was an extremely difficult uh, situation. So you will be stressed because... In terms of the money that you get as an advocate, sometimes may not be commensurate to the work that you do. There is also the issue of sharp practice, as been said by the President um, LSK. There is the issue of limited job opportunities. You know, uh, Mr. Mule would have come here and said that he will take even 400 of you. I can assure you that is, I have been a member of parliament. I know members of parliament vote during budget. And some of the institutions that are given not so much money are those which are dealing with employment of advocates. So Mule and his department, the DPP, I mean the commission, it is not well funded. So they will not take the entire 400. That's the wish list. He would be very happy to take 400 of you. But I can assure you only 10 or even 5 of you will make it there because there is not sufficient funds. Everywhere else, I'm just giving the, sorry, I'm just being the politician. I withdraw that one for now, <laughs> but it is the truth. So there will be difficulties. I can tell you, you will also get into employment and discover that it is not what you expected. 
the amount that you are getting, if you, for example, got to, you know, one you employed by an advocate, or, for example, getting into a commission, is not the amount of money you had in mind. When I first employed myself, I am sure I was the lowest paid of my classmates because I got my first posting at the, uh, the, the municipal council of Nakuru. As a legal officer, 11,995 was my first amount, the lowest. But you see, the goodness with being a lawyer is that you should have to persevere. I am also sure about five, four, five years ago, I probably was the highest paid individual in my, in my class. I know, because I know my salary, and I knew it was not commensurate with probably what even Honorable Ochilo Ayako was earning then as a senator. It was slightly higher as a deputy speaker. So it is about persevering. Things can be low sometimes, but sometimes they will be very good. So you become not very happy at one point, become happy after a short while, and sometimes go back like me again, who has been a perennial winner of elections, losing, so you go back down again. You are not only earning less than the rest of your classmates, you are actually earning nothing. So I'm just telling you that this is the world that is inviting you. I take this opportunity, therefore, to congratulate you and wish you well. And just for clarity, I am Moses Cheboy, as I've said, chair of the uh, Advocates Complaints Commission. Please, you are not welcome there unless for a cup of tea. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Mrs. Chaboy. We are okay, isn't it? Are we? I now wish to welcome the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary to give her remarks and thereafter welcome the Honorable the Chief Justice. Thank you very much, Honorable Anjala. The Honorable the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, uh, the President of the Law Society of Kenya, and uh, accompanied by the Vice, Vice President of the Law Society, we are also honored to have among us the Chair of the Senior Bar, Dr. Fred Ojambo, accompanied by Senior Counsel, Honorable Otiendi Amolo, I uh, want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Mary Mutegi, Acting CEO of the Council of Legal Education, the representative of the Kenya School of Law Director, Madam Konuche, um, Honorable Cheboy, always very humorous. Um, thank you for being here. Mr. Mule, representing the Director of Public Prosecutions, Karibu Sana. Uh, I want to recognize the, pres the presence of, the, of His Excellency, the Governor of Migori County, Honorable Chilo Ayako, Karibu Sana. Nice to have you here.